<laughs> we don't need the mouse stood up. Hello. Everyone joining us on this lovely video. It's uh, middle of December and we are going to play Gloomhaven. Again. <laughs> we have a helper today. I'm sorry, I can't. I. What did you say? <laughs> I'm being advised. I said we have a helper today. <laughs> we do have a helper today, an advisor. Wearing a lovely unicorn shirt. In a in a shiny unicorn shirt. This is May. She's our advisor. I'm Melissa. That's Mark. I was told that I was supposed to introduce myself. Hi to our no viewers <laughs> and the mats. I don't even think the mats are with us anymore. The mats gave up. Yeah. Oh, I've got major glare going on here. I'm gonna. We have a bit of glare. Do I need to do something about the curtain in the back and make it makes the sunshine less? No, it's fine. And in terms of this stuff, I don't know if I can do anything about it. Uh, let's see. I don't think we have any. Yeah, I think that guy needs to go. I think we have one of these guys. He's a yellow. He's a elite. No, no, no. Oh. You don't get to just put them willy nilly. Listen, you can dungeon master later. Hey, Google. <laughs> no, you cannot play with it. Why can't it play? Because we're about Oh, well, now it's dark. Take That's ball. better glare. Right. How's that? Is that better? I think, I think it was fine before. It's a little glary, but not that bad. I can see what's going on. OK. And you're still missing characters. <laughs> yeah. Banner For those of you joining so us, the dog ate the characters so now we're back to being our old we're skinned as our old characters cosmetically <laughs> oh listen advisor person you're gonna get exiled to guarding the christmas tree in a minute you just did a um transmog on your characters that's all yes mm -hmm. um do we know right. when no. Diablo is coming out? Speaking of Transmog, <laughs> I'm ready for new Diablo. I have no idea. I've been playing Diablo 3 since it came out a million years ago, so I'm ready for Diablo next one. I don't care if it's the one on the tablet or not, I just need more Diablo in my life. What's that, The one where I have to defeat all the demons. Oh, yeah, and the card one. No, not the card one. You haven't watched it very often because it's bloody and disgusting and you're not allowed to watch it. Oh, it's a movie. I thought it was a game. No, it's a game. Okay, anyway, moving on from Diablo. <laughs> so we decided to do the Sulfur Mine today, which is a side quest again because we're trying to collect ancient artifacts <laughs> for some reason that I've forgotten already why we want ancient artifacts, but we want them. So we're going after if another ancient artifact one, in the store. Yeah, there's five of them. Unlock something or something or another. Right, right. And right now we have one. Yeah, we, so hopefully we'll have two. Yeah, so we're about to get, well, we're hopefully gonna get two. I cannot tell how far we are in this game. I still, I keep feeling like, oh, we're almost done, but we only have one of five ancient artifacts, so. Yeah. Well, I think it also depends on how distracted you get by side quests, and we were like really focused on Jaxera at first, so we kind of, may may please no. Um, so we like zoomed through that part, but like we haven't done anything with the gloom, right? Or is the, I don't even know, I've lost track of the gloom. We're just playing well, now. We don't know what's going on. We're just I thought wandering. We were getting rid of the gloom or something like that. We we cut off something from some shadow realm or something like that. And then we tracked down 
places of power that were using that shower room power or whatever. Yeah. And then we started we, clearing that up. We have this thing that we want to um, uh, like either activate or shut down or something like that, but you have to go to three other places first in or, and destroy like altars at those places or something like that. And we've done one of those three. Yes. And then one was too hard to do and the other one we got distracted halfway through. Yeah. So <laughs> mostly because that, that one was uh, that was hard to do. We decided that we need to power up our characters a little bit more. So we're doing a bunch of side quests now. Um, yeah. And the reason why we needed to power up our characters a little bit more is because we retired our original characters who were more powerful. But now I feel like they're starting to get, they're starting to feel pretty good, these new ones, I feel I feel like. Yeah, even though we transmogged them at my house to their old yeah. versions, to the old, the old kind. I hope they were tasty, at least. <laughs> I don't know. I... All we found was the bottom. Like he ate the character. He just left the stand. So beefy. I don't know. No, what are you? All right. Enough political commentary over here, kiddo. Okay. What did she say? She said, "You mean his butt?" Hmm. Oh. Uh, well, commentary. I thought maybe she said. Why does the president elect? <laughs> Men sneeze and butt at the same time. Okay, well, enough talking about butts right now. Things I never thought I would say. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, moving on again. Stop. Okay, YouTube sensation, go over there. Just try uh, to become a YouTube sensation. Dude. We need to do a city event and then a road event. Um, mm -hmm. And last last uh, episode was pretty exciting because we ended with um, we got to spend money on enhancements, um, yes. which are expensive. A pretty good one, according to the internet. Which is, I have this one card that, like, if I uh, expend it. You know, I lose a card, but I then gain one shield for the rest of the scenario, and I can enhance it. So now I have two shield for the rest of the scenario. It's pretty awesome. Nice. Except yeah. that minus one movement. Um, oh. That's really bad. I enhanced my where to go. I enhanced my thorn shooter. The recommended first enhancement is to make your thorn shooter walk around better, so it now can follow better and not just like be still. Um, that was the recommended first one. We'll see how that goes because it is, I mean, that one's good because it poisons and um, and hits pretty hard at range. So okay, that's what I did, but it was expensive. And I leveled up too. All right, so you gotta do a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. Who's exciting? Um, I have not leveled up, I am five. Um, okay, so I drew city event 13. Haven't we? No, I guess this one is a reuse. You're walking across the silent bridge headed toward the sleeping lion to get a quick meal when you see a quatrille standing in front of a small cart laden with plates of food and curious contraptions. Come try the delicacies of these, the quatrille barks. Food enhanced with science, flavors beyond your wildest imagination. We've had this one before, but it's one that goes back in the deck. Option A, stop and try the food. Option B, continue on your way to a less adventurous meal. I don't remember what we, well, we must have tried it, right? Because we were adventurous back then. Did we get penal? Well, and we had a quadril in our, in our party, so. Did we get penalized? I don't remember what happened. Maybe we ignore it this time. <laughs> All right, we will continue on our way to a less adventurous meal. Oh, dude. Okay. Um, after a quick glance at the cart, you are not even sure how you would go about eating most of the food. Best to play it safe in these situations and stick to what you know will fill you up cheaply. No effect. The other one was uh, that we start with less and lose three gold. So those are those are additions to the game. Okay. Um, 
The road event is 14. 14? Those are for enhancements. Why are we digging through the box? 14, you said? Okay. You are walking down the road when the sound of many wings pulls your gaze to the sky. Above you, you see a large flock of white birds flying southward. At that height, you figure a well-aimed arrow could bring one of them down to make a nice meal. Apparently, we're very hungry today. Option A, shoot at the birds, or option B, let the birds pass undisturbed. Well, so the, my reasoning for skipping the quattro thing was that if I'm if I'm playing a character who's on a straight and narrow, mm -hmm. he's only going to eat city-sanctioned food. <laughs> So you don't think she would shoot at the birds either? I think so, but it's up to you. I don't think we would shoot at the birds either because neither of us is an archer. <laughs> you, like, you like animals. I do. I like animals. Um, okay, the shot would be difficult and you'd prefer not to waste the arrow. You simply move on toward your destination. No effect. Okay. So oh, we just didn't eat today. <laughs> is, that a, is that a put it back in the pile? I mean, in the deck thing? Yeah, that's a, that's another put it back in the pile. Okay. Well, that was uneventful. <laughs> we just weren't very bold today. Hungry, but not bold. And now we need to do these guys, right? Yeah. No Hey, May, can you check and make sure the dogs haven't escaped and gone to the neighbors again? What? Okay, thank you. This, this is like a paper we could write, trying to play games while also being in charge of children. <laughs> Actually, I think Constance Steinkuller is working on that. She's writing, last time I talked to Kurt, he said that she was uh, writing a book about mothers and gaming and how like you kind of need permission from your children to become a gamer again. Mm. I have to see if it's out. I wonder if she's done. She better write faster if it isn't out yet because her, her sons are growing up pretty quick. Yeah, they grow very quickly. All kids. <laughs> okay. I am going to do this one. Shield your eyes. Okay. And I'm doing this one. It's really funny. <laughs> Now this chair is yeah. in the way. I'm gonna read the intro. Okay. We're, we're going to the sulfur mine. Oh, this is great. This is why we didn't want to eat anything. We would have been nauseated. Um, it's not necessarily the sulfur mine's location that's a secret. Its stench is only noticeable from a mile away. However, Dinner. Hmm? <laughs> The dog is eating the Christmas tree. Hold on. You can read to everybody else. I can read myself. Okay. However, the map you found also makes particular mention of a powerful artifact from a dead civilization. Some sort of steam-powered drill that could have many uses if put in the right hands. Those things are ours. Are you, as you get closer, uh, the rotten smell only grows stronger until you can barely breathe. Gross. Uh, you're already wondering whether this trip is worth it, even before you notice a distinct, even before you notice distinct signs of a vermling nest and hear a deep howling coming out from the mouth of the mine. With vermlings running about, you doubt any sort of intricate contraption has been left intact, but you hold your breath and step into the tunnel nonetheless. 
Perhaps some information about the drill can be salvaged from this unfortunate situation. We're supposed to add four curse cards to our attack modifier deck, but we both have the thing where we ignore scenario effects, negative scenario effects. All right. Um, where do you want to start? All enemies and loot all treasure tiles. Kill where do I want to start? All treasure, yeah. Um, I think I would. I'm sorry. Right middle. Um, I think just like right next to you on your right. Oh, right next to. Me? Okay. Yeah, I think so. So that I can start sending my guys out. Okay. Further ahead. Also, I have more health now, so I'm not quite as squishy as I used to be. Still fairly squishy, but not terribly squishy. Are these guys fast? Yes, they're fast. Nothing special about the scouts, though. So they attack for two, move for three, and we have three hit points. The hounds retaliate. Yeah. So the hounds are so the bigger to, issue. We want to hit them from range. Or kill them in one shot. Or that. They do have six, though. Yeah. Does shield prevent retaliation? Um, it pre prevents attack damage, I think. Only applies to damage caused by an attack, so it does not block retaliate. Okay. Although I do believe that we have been not great about making about doing that that way. Yeah, I think we actually had the Slimer retali uh, block retaliate last last episode. Yeah, I think we did. Retaliate itself is not an attack or even a targeted effect. Mass chaos is happening at my house in case you are not hearing all of this. I'm pretty sure that somebody just pulled up with a package. Mm. I'm gonna try this. Okay, I have 65. I have 92. Mm. Okay, the little vermlings go first. Oh, they they're gonna shoot us bastards. <laughs> uh they have a range of three. Let's see. Oh, they won't be able to get in range. Um Okay. This guy who's on the left side, I guess. Jordan, mm -hmm. Uh is gonna move between the two hounds. Okay. And can't shoot us because we're not in range. And then this guy can't move anywhere and can't do anything either because we're not in range. Cool. And now it's my turn. I am going to uh, shield up. And I have negative one movement for the rest of the scenario. Okay. I have two shield now. And then I'm going to bless all adjacent allies, which in this case is only you right now. <laughs> so you get one bless card. So I, get, I get a bless card? Cool. Yep. Now the hounds are going to move 
two and attack. This is good. They're not going to be in range. Um, so number this guy uh, closer to you is going to move like in the middle, I guess. Two spaces, and the other guy can move right next to him, and they can't do anything. They're attacking there. Okay. Now it's your turn. Okay. Um, I am going to summon my thorn shooter uh, to right behind me, actually. Um, and then I am going to I'm gonna move three and my ally also gets to move three. So except I'm totally not moving three, I'm only moving two. One, two over to the other side. And the thorn shooter's doing the same thing. We're just moving so that since the wolves, the hounds went that way, we're going over to the other side. So you're just going to the other side of me? Yes, basically. And, we, just, and the and that guy too, yeah. We're both just switching over. We're just using you as a human shield. Okay, that's fine. Or tiefling shield or whatever it is that you are. Oh. And that's my turn. I'm a Valrath. Yeah, oh yeah, Valrath. Tieflings are D&D. <laughs> I know. I just don't remember what you're called in this. Yeah. What are you? Human? Elf? I'm a. I'm the same thing as Hale. I'm a ethereal. What am I? Easter. I'm like a ghost, basically. Okay. Uh, next round. All right, I have 85. I have 45. Okay. The hounds. I'm sorry, one could attack you. Oh, well. So this guy goes forward one space and attacks you for two minus one, attacks you for one. Okay. The other guy goes forward one space and attacks me for two points. Minus two because I have the shield. So zero. Okay. All right. So my thorn shooter shoots, uh, I don't know, the one that can hit both of us for two and poison for two and poison so that guy is poisoned and down to four but he can't retaliate against the guy right so he doesn't actually retaliate is only me... me, i think unless there's a little range icon okay yeah so it's only ones that attack it from an adjacent hex so it doesn't retaliate and then um, I am using strength in numbers, which is move plus one and attack plus one with me controlling actions for my uh, summon. So he is now attacking for four because the guy is poisoned. Um, and I get one experience point. Uh, so four and poison plus one, five and poison, that guy's dead. 
dead. Dead. Dead. And then I'm also doing um, an attack plus zero with him, with me controlling the action. So he attacks the other guy for two and poison, for three and poison. So that guy now is at three hit points and is poisoned. Wow. And that is my turn. OK, that was effective. <laughs> Um, the vermins are next. They both move two and attack three, so they're not going to get in range again. This guy's going to move here to the wall, I guess. Okay. Faces and not do anything, and then the other guy's just going to follow behind him two faces and not do anything. Okay. And then I am going to allow one adjacent ally perform an attack four. Do you want to do it, or do you, does the thorn uh, shooter want to do it? Well, I don't have anybody next to me, and I don't really have range, so my thorn shooter should do it. OK. OK, thorn shooter is going to shoot that same guy for four plus one, because he's poisoned for five plus zero. That guy's dead, too. And then I'm going to attack the air. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> I had a stun ready to go. Oh, well. Uh, OK, so that guy's dead. Next round. I have 23. I have 13. I have 29. All right, you first. All right. So my thorn shooter is going to shoot this guy that's in front for two and poison. Oh, uh, for, oh my gosh. For three and poison, and I also, does this plus one health, so this is to heal oneself. Um, does he heal himself, or can I use his healing? I think I it's, guess he healed himself. I think it's to himself, yeah. Yeah, okay, well he didn't need healing, but so three and poison, so this guy that's in front is dead. Yep. Bye bye, dude. And then, I am attacking the other guy for three and immobilize. So he's in range, right? One, two, three. Oh, I forgot to put loot down. One, two, three. Yep. Uh, so three and immobilize, minus one. So two and immobilize. So he is now immobilized and down to one hit point. And then I can't do anything with that one. So I attack the air. Okay. Uh, my turn. I'm going to move forward two spaces onto that loot. Okay. And then attack him for four and a sun symbol. I'm going to trouble this. Okay, four plus zero, you're dead. You're dead. No, that's one of the bad guys, Mei <laughs> She just suggested we heal the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, that's dead. Um, next round. Oh, I'm gonna do a short rest. Okay. Oh, bollocks. I like that card. <sighs> I 
Um, so you're doing a short rest. That's 99. No, short rest, you said. Short rest, not a lot. Oh, I just threw my cards on the ground. Where did they go? Thank you. Minor earthquake caused by us. I like your green. We didn't, we didn't. Hmm? I like your green paint. Green. Oh, thank you. This is my this is my craft room because I got kicked out of the office for today. Yeah. So green. Um, we had a big earthquake on Monday. Wow. Well, big for us, four point two. It was a bit scary. It felt like um. Like a car crashed in the building. What um, initiative do you have? Uh, 13. It wasn't scary to me. It okay. wasn't scary to me. Oh, wait, this guy died, didn't he? Yeah, dead. Okay. Um, all right, so my furniture doesn't do anything because there's no enemies. Um, but I'm gonna move five. I'm gonna head for this room over here. Do you wanna okay. head for this room? Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And then, um, oh wait, I'm doing that in the opposite order. So I get to move him, um, I get to move him two spaces. So I'm gonna move him one, two onto that loop. And then I'm going to move five, one, two, three, four, five. And that's my turn. OK. Oh, and I'm going to then use my minor stamina potion and actually get those two cards right back. Um, I'm giving a tactical order to your vine shooter, thorn shooter. Uh, OK. You can move four. Nice. One, two, three, four. Nice. We're going to go deal with whatever's over there. Yeah. And then I am moving four. One, two, three, four. Cool. Okay, next round. <clears throat> well, the sun has expired. I have 57. I just changed my mind. I have 13, I guess. OK, you first. OK. So my thorn shooter doesn't really do anything because you can't see anything. And I move into the doorway, one, two. What's in this room? An elite vermling. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what one is he? Nine. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm going to keep moving into the room because I still have some moves to do. One, two, sort of behind this, um, behind the shelving unit thing. Yeah, right there. <laughs> behind and the uh, Malm bookcase. The what? Malm bookcase, Ikea, Ikea bookcase. 
totally yes behind the bookcase uh from ikea um <laughs> i can't think of the one i can't think of the other one anyway um and then i attack the ear because that's not a useful thing for me okay that's my turn okay so i just i just angered this vermling and then stopped doing anything yeah he won't be able to attack you because he can't move this turn okay phew um on my turn, I am moving forward three. Uh, okay. so here's one. And then I also have an elite vermling to deal with. Fortunately, they're not very um, healthful. Health, healthful. Sturdy. Healthy. Oh. Healthy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> Uh, sorry, I was moving three. I moved one. I have two more. I'm going to go right here, I guess. Oh, you're going in front of the of the bookcase. Yes. I can't, the, I can't think of any of the other names of the collections. There's like Calax. Calax is what I have here. Um, there's like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We don't have Ikea here, so. Mm. And then I'm going to heal myself and cause a sun thing to appear. I heal myself. Uh, Aren't you already at full health? Yeah, I was. But I caused a sun Are thing you're... to appear. <laughs> okay, cool. I thought I was hurt, actually, but I'm not hurt at all. <laughs> and I'm going to do a short rest. Okay. And then the Vermling Scouts uh, attack the air for five. Okay. Gosh, yeah. that air is very well attacked. All right, how do we do with this guy? At least he doesn't have anything special. They don't have like um, shields and retaliates and things like that. I have, yeah. <laughs> okay, I have eighteen. I have thirty two. How much did you say? Thirty two. Three three two. He has 35. They have 35. They're going to move and jump and loot. <laughs> There's nothing to loot. Do they loot the treasure chest? Preventing us I from don't... I don't think so. That would suck if they did. That would suck if they did. But they're going to move away from them. And then they only get to loot stuff that's like within one. I don't think... I. Their goals. I don't... They're going to try to, do you think they're going to try to move towards these guys? I don't think oh. there's, I don't think there's like special rules about the looting <laughs> of the bad guys. Well, I am going to move one. Oh, hold on. I hear somebody yelling, go home, and I'm worried that it's my dog. Okay.
what can I tell you now that Melissa's not here? Hmm. Well, this is uh, the week before Christmas and um, um, whatever your faith or non-faith, <laughs> um, we hope you have a good holiday. Hey, mate. Hey May, do you have do you have fun uh, Christmas plans? Um, well, I'm making cookies today. Cookies. He was in the middle of the road trying to get run over. <sighs> My life is very glamorous, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm actually moving too, so I can be on top of the treasure. Um, Cookie. And then I'm shielding up, so now I have three shield. Okay. And then I, it's only lasted one round though. And then I'm attacking this dude. Uh, okay. Five attack using up the sun. Five plus one, that's six. I think he's dead. He's dead. And I actually forgot to put him on here, so. <laughs> <laughs> I did too. I forgot to put him on the on the app, so he he's extra dead. Um, and then I get this thing, which is nothing, right? It's it's a goal, so we just have to collect them all. Collect it. No, I don't need your help, but thank you. <laughs> So eager. Um, your yeah. turn. <laughs> okay, um, so the thorn shooter moves into the doorway. One, two, and two, three, four. He shoots at the Vermling guy for two and poison. Still for two and poison. So the guy is now poisoned and at three. And then. Um, I am going to move three, one, two, three, onto the loot. And my guy is also going to move three. I don't know why. One, two, one, two, three. I don't know. Maybe not. He's just going to hang in the doorway. And then I'm going to attack this dude for two. Plus one because he's poisoned and I whiffed, so he's still alive, so he gets to whack me. But I loot the chest. Hooray. Hooray. Chest looted. Oh, he's not going to whack me. He's just trying to move and jump and loot, so. Yeah, I think he's going to. I think it would make sense for them to want to go after the loot that's on the ground here. Makes sense to me. Means he goes here, I think. How many does he move? Five. Five. But he can only move three because I'm blocking the doorway, right? But they have jump. They have jump this turn. Oh right, he has jump. Okay, you're right. Oh, and now Mark's character's up. No banner. Hey, mate, I need your help, please. Okay. Um, the character fell on the floor. And I am surrounded by dogs. Thank you. You could recreate the scene from a, a, a Christmas story. Put a turkey on your table. Have dogs running around. A, what? a Christmas story. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I could, and the the turkey would be gone. That is pretty much my life, is that scene from the Christmas story. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday, yesterday I got whacked in the head three times by dogs. Like, well whacked. It's, it's a wonder that I don't have a concussion. It's exciting living with so many crazy dogs. Okay, um, so it's the next turn. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
I got nothing good to play. I don't have anything good to play either. I'm going to have to do a short rest soon. I have 56. I have 82, I guess. Okay. Yes, I'm, um, I'm going to move four spaces. One, two, three, four into the doorway. Okay. And then I'm going to heal myself for nothing but put a sun token icon up. I okay. assume I can do that. I can overheal and put a sun icon on. I assume I can do that. Okay. Now it's the Vermling's turn, yeah? Yeah. So he's not moving, but he has attack of two, range four, target two. One, two, three, four. They're not in range. So he only targets the Thorn Shooter, but it's at disadvantage. Okay. So he draws a plus one and a plus zero. So two points. My Thorn Shooter is dead. Aww. Yeah. Sad base. Yeah, Thorn Shooter. Um, your turn. Okay. This is oh, going to be a waste of a turn. I move two, one, two. And then I attack the air. This is terrible. I have to do a short rest. Okay. So okay. there's just this vermling like wandering around out there because I am pitiful. Well, I'll get it back. Yeah. I shot Naja. Naja? <laughs> she's playing Minecraft and apparently she poisoned herself and now she's like basically drunk. Can <laughs> I lick the mushroom in my ass? Oh, she licked the mushroom. <laughs> Don't lick mushrooms. That's a bad idea. <laughs> okay, but I like that. All right, I have 69, 68. I have 13. Okay, you first. Okay. So, first I am um, three. I'm attacking the Vermling for three. Um, there's no wind up. Nope, there's no wind up. So, attack for three. Oh, wait, is he poisoned? Yes. He is poisoned. Attack for four. Uh, and I wounded him. And I did two times damage. So he is super duper dead. The deadest. Did I get a chest yet? No. Well, I got a chest, but there was nothing in it. Oh, I've got a... I didn't shuffle. Okay, so I killed the vermin guy. Woo! And then I'm moving five. One, two, three. No, wait. I'm only moving three because I want loot. I'm moving to where his loot was and I'm taking the loot. The end of my turn and all the chaos. Okay. I'm moving three spaces. One, two, three, and then I am making you move four spaces. And you're making me move four spaces? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three into the doorway? I think so. Okay. And then we'll see. All right, what's the we, might back, we might want to back up. 
Yeah. Once I see what's in there. Another vermlin. A vermling and two hounds. That's not bad. Hold on. Things fell. Whew. Okay. Um so and then the hound. The vermily is gonna move. Um one and two. Yeah, all right, I'll back up one, one. Hey, May, May, what are you doing? Okay, Hello. Uh, go. They have a move of four. Um, this guy goes <sighs> one, two, three, four, I guess. They both go right in front of the vermin. Okay. And then the vermin moves four. One, two, three, four into the doorway and attacks you for three. Man. Misses. Whips. Fun man. And now it's the next round. I have 32. I have 94. Okay, the hounds uh, each move three. They each move two. They can't move further. And then they don't attack anything. And then I... Um, Hmm. I attack uh, the Vermling for two plus stun. Okay. Minus one. So one point and stun. Perfect. And then I allow you to make an attack four. Okay. I'll whack him for four. Uh, plus zero, so he's dead. Ow. And now it's the next turn, and I'm doing a short rest. No, it's not the next turn. I didn't get to go yet. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm doing a short rest. Okay. Um, I am going to summon my slime spirit into the doorway. Okay, and then um, I am also going to shoot the, I guess, right, no, leftmost uh, hound for two and cause a fire. So, oh, I heal myself, yay! Plus one, so I attack him for three and cause a fire. Which one is he? Oh, hello. And okay. I heal myself one as part of that. I gotta, I gotta heal one cell card. Nice. You are so helpful, my darling. Oh my gosh. Now the next round. Now it is legitimately the next round. I'm gonna do a short rest here. Okay, I just did one too. Okay, your slime guy. 
I can jump over him, so I guess I'll do that. Well, you can walk through my slime guy. You have to jump over the other. Yeah. I have 29. I have 32. Yeah, 26. Um, well, they're kind of stuck anyway. They're just going to whack on my slime guy. I'm going to whack your slime guy. So the first guy attacks two plus one, minus two because your slime's armor. So one point. 30. The other guy attacks two times. <laughs> well, uh, four minus two because the armor, so two points. Okay. He's still alive. It's okay. Okay. Um, I am going to hop over them to be right here. Okay. And I'm going to whack one of them. I guess I'll hit the guy. Well, how much damage do you think you're going to do this turn? A lot? Fair amount. Um, I mean, my slime guy only has one hit, one one um, attack point. So he doesn't do a lot of damage, but he muddles everybody. So a fair okay. amount of damage. Yeah. I'm going to hit the guy with more hit points, this guy. OK. Um, attack of two and a stun. Okay. Times two. So I do four points and a stun. Three. And I assume because of the stun, he doesn't get to retaliate. Does that make sense? That makes sense to me, but. And it lasts until the end of his next turn, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, My turn? Yep. Okay. So my slime spirit attacks, I guess, the stunned guy um, for one and muddle. For one and muddle. So that guy is now muddled as well. That was maybe not the best move. But then um, I'm also having him attack again. Um, so he attacked. Hold on, because there's retaliate involved. So let me, I'm going to uh, heal my slime for two using my robes. So one, two, so he's back up to three hit points. OK, so now he's going to attack again. Um, and he's going to attack Wait, he's other still, guy. Wait, he doesn't get retaliated because, I mean, the first guy that he attacked doesn't retaliate because he's stunned. Right, right, I know. But if I was going to hit the other guy, which is what I'm going to do to get muddled. So I just wanted to be sure. OK, so he hits the other guy for one and muddle, and he misses. So that's useless. Mm -hmm. And then I'm attacking the other guy at range three, attack three. Um, plus one is four. So that guy is dead. So the unstunned guy is dead. Does retaliate happen even if uh, you miss? I don't think so. OK. Let me see. It just says for each attack made, so maybe it did retaliate. It doesn't say attack landed, it says attack made. Okay. 
So then he probably did retaliate. For one. All right, my slime guy's down to half health. That's fine. Yeah, and unfortunately, I lost my healing card when I did my short rest. That's okay. Um, not so it does say in retaliate that if the, the person retaliating is either exhausted or killed, that the retaliate doesn't happen. So we are playing by the rules. <laughs> okay. Okay, I have 23. I have 94. Oops. Okay, with my 23, I am gonna um, attack him for four. Mm -hmm. Plus one, he's totally dead. And I cause a sun symbol. And then I'm going to move four spaces. Okay. One, two, three, four. And that's it. Okay. So I'm, uh, my slime doesn't do anything because there's no bad guys. I'm attacking near because that makes sense. And then I'm recovering four of my last cards. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to do a short rest. Okay. All at the same time. Next round. Um. I have 55. I have 32. Would you say you have 55? Yep. Okay, you first. Okay. My slime still does nothing because it's just sitting around waiting for bad guys. Um, and then I'm going to move him, move plus one, so he has move of three, so he moves four. One, two, three, four, I guess. And then um, I'm going to move, oh, I did that in the wrong order. Never mind. So I'm going to move three and move an adjacent summoned ally, also performs move three. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then I also make him move four. One, two, three, four, I guess. Right in front of the door? Uh, no, going towards the side. One more over. Yeah. Because I'm going to go over there and open that. Then we can deal with the big room. OK. Uh, and it's my turn, right? Yes. I have to be careful. I'm getting quite low on cards. Okay. I'm moving three spaces. Okay. One, two, three, into the door and opening it. Uh, what do you get? Look. Another firmling. Firmlings. 
Yeah. He's gonna move three. Oh, he's gonna attack me. Oh, geez. Um. Should have done this one. <laughs> uh, then I am going to attack the air. <laughs> And he's going to move one, two, and attack me for four points, plus one, five points, minus two because of my shield, so three points on me. But you were at full health, right? So. Yeah. And now it's the next round. OK. I have 18. I have 13. OK, you go first. All right, so I'm going to move five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I think you're slamming toward me. Oh, yeah, I think he does. So he moved three, one, two, three, towards you, and then did nothing. Useless slime, because I was going to do something with that. Dang it. OK. And then I guess I attacked the air because he ran away. Well, I mean, you could go for the big room instead of the side room, right? I could, I guess. Hold on. Where was I? Oh, yeah. That makes more sense. OK. One, two, three, four, five. I still can't get in the doorway. But then I have move. Move him, uh, his thing plus zero with me controlling the action. So does that mean I can stick him in the doorway? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So he moves three, one, two, into the doorway where there are hounds. Dang it. Hounds and elite, an elite Enox. Awesome. Bleh. Um, and I guess my slime is gonna just keep going into the room. And I'll try to deal with this nonsense. But somebody's still gonna have to go to that other little room. So I guess that's on you. Okay, first the Enox moves before I get to go. Um, he's got a movement of three, attack two, range three. Oh wait, where'd your slime go? He went like one further in. Yeah. Okay, your slime's within range, so I think he's just gonna attack your slime. Okay. Disarms your slime. <laughs> hits for a negative one, so hits for zero points because your slime's armor. Okay, um, and he, but he's disarmed. Yeah. Which so he, 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 he doesn't hit for any, but he's disarmed, right? And then this, me, I am gonna um, move two, one, two, to the other side of this guy. And shield myself, so now I have shield of three. Okay. And then I'm going to whack him for two points of damage. Okay. Plus one. So the three points of damage. And the hounds have a move of four attack two. Add plus two attack if the target is adjacent to any of the hounds' allies. Nobody's um, adjacent to any. This guy is going to move one, two to be adjacent to the slime and attack him for two points times two. So no. minus he's two for the armor. He's dead? He's dead. Yeah, he's dead now. Slimey. 
Fine. The other guy moves four, one, two, three, four to be right next to you and attacks you for two points. Okay. The Vermling Scout uh, does not attack me and instead goes five spaces towards loot, I guess. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, right there. We don't want him to get too far away because we'll, then we'll have to hunt him down. I know. Um, anyways, this is the next round. And I have to do a short rest. I'm going to have to do a short rest on the next. Should I just go open that last room? <laughs> just bring everybody to the party? Yeah, I think that makes sense. Do you have any okay. AOE? I have no AOE is the problem. I, I lost my AOE summon. So I don't have AOE. OK, I'm starting to run low on cards here. Yeah, um, me too. This is what happens when it's a massive board. Mm -hmm. So you have to get the that treasure, and then we still have two more treasures to get, and kill the rest of these guys. Yeah. Okay. I might start doing long rest so that I can pick what I'm losing. Okay. Did you lose the card that lets me get cards back? I still have that card. Do I have to be next to you or something? Yeah, we have to be adjacent. Okay. Hmm. I got nothing good here. I have 18. I have 82. Okay, the hounds go first. Um, they have a move of four, and they're going to muddle all adjacent enemies. Um, I'm muddled. So this guy it has a lower number, so he's going to go first. Um, he goes one, two, three to be next to you, mm -hmm. and then muddles you. OK, I'm muddled. Yeah, the guy oh, doesn't do anything but muddles you. And now it's my turn. Okay. I'm going to move two spaces onto this loot. Then I'm going to attack the air. And that's all I'm doing. OK. And now the Enox moves three towards you, I guess. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter. Do we care which direction? Not really. One, two, three. And then heals nothing. Then it's your turn. Okay. I am moving three into the doorway. One, two, three. Um, and then I'm guessing that's another yes, it is. Vermling leader. Where are you going? And then I'm going to move. Oh, and that makes the wind, by the way, um, by moving. Um, I'm going to move two more, one, two. And then I'm going to summon my two shadow wolves. Um, Where did you move? Uh, to like right next to the, um, yeah, right there. I'm going to summon my shadow wolves there, like there and there. Can you see? No. You are off the map. OK. There. I'm trying to like pull the map without making things fall off. OK. Yeah, there and there. OK. And hold on. Let me put them into my thingy. Two, oh, wait, three. Three, three, two, 
and two, and that is my turn. Okay. The vermlings uh, attack the air. You don't do anything. Cool. Um, I guess I should do one more short rest and then I'll do a long rest. Okay. Oh man, I only have, gosh, maybe three more turns. I'm trying to run towards you so that um, they go after me instead of you. Well, I'm okay. I still have a fair amount of health. The issue is that I'm going to be exhausted. Right, that's true. Okay, then I'm just going to try to move as far as I can. Okay, I have 55. I have 13. Okay, this Enox moves three, attacks three, range three. So he's going to move one, two, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then attack no one, no one's in range. And now it's your turn. Okay, my first wolf goes around to attack this Vermling for two and he has pierce that doesn't matter for three so he attacks that guy for three one two three this guy can't really get to that guy so i guess he just like moves up behind my other guy i don't know how far can your wolves yeah. move three you maybe you should have summoned them here let me get a one two three Mm -hmm. You had some of them here next to the bookcase, and he could have moved one, two, three here. Oh, that's true. Too late now, though. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. He just moves right there, I guess. And then I'm going to move and jump and one, two, three, and get that loot. Sadly, I cannot continue to move because then I will mess that up. And then. Uh, my other, my guys go, can move again. Oh, no, you know what? I'm going to attack the, I'm going to attack the Vermling for two, plus one for three. He's dead. dead. Okay. This is a hot mess, because now... Yeah, I'm running out of, I'm running out of moves. So I'll get as close to you as I can, but yeah, I've only got uh, two, two more. On me moves or here moves moves here into the doorway, and then attacks this wolf here. Or two plus one for three points of damage. Okay, that wolf is dead. And then my turn, I am moving four spaces. One, two, three, four into that doorway, and then attack in the air. Okay. And then the wolves. Uh, first they do an attack of one, no, no one's near them, 
then they do a move of two, and then they do an attack of one. So this guy is going to move two towards me and attacks me for one with a pierce of two. One plus one is two points. I'm down to 13. And then the other guy is just going to move two. I guess I'm closer. He's just going to move two towards me. OK. The next round. Try to get as close to me as possible. I'm going to do my best. Um, I have 85. I have 45. OK. The hounds have a move of four and attack of two. So this guy is just going to attack me. Um, Plus two attack if the tiger is just in the wrong way. I'm not yet. So that guy's going to attack me for two. Uh, minus two, zero points of damage. The other okay. hand is going to go next to me and then attack me for four because I'm adjacent to his buddy. And gets a plus one, so that's five. Minus two because my shield, so three points. So I'm down to okay. ten. And the Enox is going to move three and heal himself for those guys, but no one's hurt. Right? What is it? Yeah, he's not hurt. One, two, three. So he's going to be right there, I guess. Um, and now it's your turn. OK. My hound, or my wolf, moves in front of this guy and attacks him for two. Ooh. For two and a wound. For three and a wound, that guy is dead. Goodness. And then I dead. I am moving five. One, two, three, four, five out into the hallway and attacking the air, I guess. And now I'm, I think I'm going to do a long rest on this next turn. OK. Yeah, I'm going to do a long rest on the next turn. On my turn, I'm using my healing potion to heal me myself for five. OK. Um, and then I am hmm. You're not within range. Bummer. If I play my cards correctly, uh, no, I, I'm not going to be able to do it. Because I need to, I need two turns and I'm only going to have one. I can almost get to the, to the chest. Almost. If you are within three three spaces of me, I can move you four spaces. I can get to. Oh, then one, two, three, four. That's still. I still need two turns. Unless you can get around these guys. No, I use my jumping boots. So I'm stuck. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm going to attack this guy uh, for two and a stun. OK. Minus one. So one point and a stun. So he's at five and stunned. No retaliate because he's stunned. But then. Shit. 
then I'm doing nothing. I'm doing a short rest. Okay. Next round. I'm at 99 because I'm taking a long rest. Where your wolfie goes. My wolfie does go. Okay, I'm gonna punch that one, I guess. Yeah, I've only got three cards, so I have one. I guess, no, wait, does that make two? If I do, and then I get one back. I do have two turns left. I can get to the thing, but I can't kill anything on my way by. Okay. Oh, shit. Do you need me to be able to move you four spaces? No, 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 no. I can get there on my own. Okay, good, because I just okay. discarded that card. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, so all I can do is get to the chest and loot the chest. I cannot do anything else. My wolfie can do some stuff, but I can't do anything. Okay, well then I need to pull out some things here, I think. Not a good idea. I don't know if this is a good idea, but I have uh, 18. Okay. Okay, so this guy moves first. He has an attack of two, range three, so, oh, immobilized. Great. Um, doesn't need to move, attack speed for three, minus one, attack speed for two, I have shield, does nothing, but immobilizes me. Okay. Sucks. Well, that's okay, because I can get to the treasure. Yeah, but I, yeah, I guess that's true. Um, so on my turn, I'm gonna shield up and not move. I have three shield now, and then I'm gonna attack. Uh, I'm gonna attack the guy who's not stunned. Okay. For five. Plus zero. So he's at one, but he retaliates on me for one point. So I'm at fourteen. Okay. And then I think. That's my turn, yep. So then these guys have an attack of four. This guy's stunned, so he does nothing. He becomes unstunned. This guy attacks me for four. Minus one is three, but I have a shield of three, so that does nothing. Sweet. And now it's your turn. OK, well, I'm resting, but my wolfy guy goes one, two, three. And that's the turn, because he does not have ranged anything. OK, next round. Next round, indeed. OK. I'm ready. I really need a large stamina potion. We need to get that up to that next level of prosperity because I really need a bigger stamina potion. Yeah. Shit. Uh, okay, I guess I'm gonna do this. Um,
Ugh. Oh man, this is painful. Um, I don't know if this is a good idea at all, but I have 32. Okay, I have 45. No, I go first. Um, I am going to make myself have to retaliate. Okay. The, for the rest of the scenario. And then I am gonna, um, not do anything. <laughs> I can move two spaces, but. Wait, if I moved. But aren't you immobilized? No, you were already immobilized, never mind. If I move one space. Yeah, I want them to hit me, so I'm not gonna move. Okay. Um, no, oh yeah, because we're telling you. Yeah. It's your turn. Okay, my wolf guy goes one, two, up behind the, the Inox, Inox, and hits for two, plus one, he hits him for three. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three. And then I come zooming in behind and go one, two, three, four, five. And then I attack the air because that's all I can do. And you know what? I'm going to take a long rest on this next turn, and that will give my hound or my wolf an extra whack. Okay. And yeah, okay, so I'm going to take a long rest on this next turn so that I can pick what comes back out of the pile. Okay. So then the, um, the Enox moves three. I guess just moves one space here to get out of the wolf's range? No, it doesn't need to, because it's not going to attack me, it's going to attack, I mean, not going to attack the wolf, it's going to attack me. So he doesn't need to move, he shoots me for three plus zero. I have two shields, so it does one damage. I'm at 13. Um, doesn't get retaliated because it's not adjacent. The wolves um, both have move and attack, so this first guy is attacking me for three plus zero. So that's one point of damage. Um, but he gets retaliate two. So he's down to three. OK. The second guy attacks me for plus two. So that's five minus two. So three points of damage. So I'm at nine, but also dies because of the retaliate. Sweet. Okay, and now it's the next round. Okay. You are doing a long rest? I'm doing a long rest. Okay. I, I guess have, it doesn't really matter. I have 55. Okay. Okay, the wolf is going to move and muddle. Doesn't need to move, muddles me. So I have muddle now. Fun. That's stupid. <laughs> um, I am going to move three spaces, one, two, three, to be adjacent to the wolf. And then attack the Enox for two and a stun. But I muddle, so I'm drawing twice. It's either two times or a whip <laughs> oh. so, and so, but i get a plus one heal on the whip <laughs> <laughs> does that happen do i get to heal myself no you don't remember they don't it doesn't count it just goes away okay so i don't stun them i don't heal myself and everything's sad <laughs> The Enoch Shaman is going to move to heal all adjacent allies. He's going to move one to be next to that wolfy guy and heal the wolf for one point of damage. 
So the wolf's up back up to four. Um, the Enox also gains a bless into his card. How do I do that into this card here? I don't actually know. Oh, you do it. You click on his little thingy. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then you can add a bless there. OK. Um, and now your turn, your wolf's turn. OK, so he moves forward one and hits the Enox again for two plus one for three. One, two, three. So he's down to five now. Mm -hmm. Okay, next round, and I'm doing a short rest. Okay. Okay, I have 18. I have 13. And this is my last turn. Okay. You go first. Okay. My guy hits the Enox again for two. Ooh, wound. And zero, plus zero. So two and a wound on the Enox. So he's down to three and he's wounded now. Okay. So that's pretty good. Um, and now I am moving five and jumping, well, four and jumping, one, two, three, four, onto that. And then I am summoning a thorn shooter that won't ever do anything next to me because I'm about to be exhausted. Didn't matter anyway. Even if I didn't summon him, I was about to be exhausted. So that's the end of my turn. Do all your summons go away when you're exhausted? I have no idea. I don't know. I feel like that's a, let's see if we Google it real fast because I don't feel like that's a. If they, if they don't go away, then, then uh, I think you should have summoned a thorn guy closer to the door before moving, if you can, if you could have. I could have, hold on, let's check. This, when the summoner becomes exhausted, the summon is removed from the board. Oh, bummer. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so that's your turn. But you got the treasure. You get to see what it is immediately. Is it oh, the real cool. treasure? No, it's just the goal. Bummer. Bummer. Okay. And now are you exhausted? Or next um, turn? Now I'm well, um, I'm exhausted at the end of this turn. I can't do anything else. I'm done now. I'm not technically exhausted until the beginning of next turn, but I'm exhausted. Okay. I am um, gonna whack this Enox for five. Plus one, six, he's dead. Yay! So now you just gotta kill this hound all by yourself. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm moving uh, onto this loot and shielding up. So I'm at okay. the field. Oh, and you still have retaliate, right? I do. Okay, sweet. I'm sorry I didn't wound that guy then, the hound then. It's okay. A waste of a wound. Oh well. Um, now the hound moves, does not need to move, gonna attack me for two. Plus zero. Does zero damage to me but gets hurt two points. So it's down to two hit points. Okay. Now exhausted. Right? You're, yeah, I'm now exhausted. Exhausted. Having a nap. And my summons go away. Bye bye, summons. Good job, Wolfie. I've got 55. He has 26. Um, so he's going to. Uh, 
attack me for two. He's gonna die. He attacks me for zero. He kills himself because I retaliate. Ow. Yay, we won. Oh, wait. I get one. I still get to move, right? We get to play out the whole thing. Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> move one space and get a loot. <laughs> More loot. All right. That was definitely, that was close. We keep doing that. That I feel like these characters, even though they're like pretty strong and I'm not worried about them dying, we end up in that situation a lot where we're like on the last set of moves. Yeah, okay. we definitely need stamina potions. Definitely. Um, okay, conclusion. You don't even bother reading all the scraps of paper you find lying around the mine. You simply stuff them into your pack as you kill all the creatures that stand in your way. Only once outside, when you are again able to breathe freely, do you attempt to piece together the various fragments of some sort of schematic. There are many intricate formulas on the papers written in some archaic language. Hopefully with enough study and the right tools, you'll be able to recreate this fabled drill. So we get another ancient technology and we get ancient drill design, which is item 112. So... We go over here. We get another ancient technology. So we're now at ancient technology level two, and we get the ancient drill design. Nope, that's not it. One twelve, you said. Yep, one twelve. And since it's the design, we get to add all of them into the deck. Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. Not that I have money. During your melee attack, add plus two attack and pierce two to the entire attack action. It counts as a two-handed weapon. Unfortunately, it's like thirty gold or whatever. 25 gold because we have um, a good reputation. How much is gold worth right now? I mean, loot worth. Loot is worth three. And we get eight XP. So. Oh, and also I got, I did, I completed my check mark, which was I had to open a door. I finally got the easy one. <laughs> Mine also completed, which was you can only take short rests, which is the exact same one I had last time. Nice. I actually, my other option was you can only take long rests. And I was like, ooh, door's easier. Because there's so many doors on this one. Yeah. So, I get a check mark. Ooh, I get another check mark. Okay, I'll deal with that in a second. And I get three whole gold. And then how much experience did I just get? 19 experience. Man, you rack up the XP. Yeah, this one is great for XP because I get XP every time I summon something and then anytime I control them, I also get XP. So every time I play one of those ones where I'm like, and I make him hit him again, I get a, an extra experience point. So I just keep racking up the experience points. Whereas in my, my former character, I couldn't get experience points like ever. It was so hard to level up with my previous character. So this one's like the opposite. Basically, I can run all around and I can get lots of experience, but I run out of cards really fast. All right, cool. Like poison cards or a plus two card? Uh, or get rid of my last minus one card? It's, oh, it's 230. I thought it was 330. I have a meeting in less than an hour. Um, I'm going to start recording. Thank you for watching. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna